What's the craziest thing you've ever seen in a storage unit? A uh, body? Dead body? This unit's gonna be epic, and I'm gonna share with you exactly why I bid on it. Look at this, see this huge door? It's indoors. Remember, anything that's indoors is typically climate controlled, and therefore, we're in for a ton of treasure. Come on, let's go. Look, we got a freight elevator too, that makes it even better, this could be fun. But remember, you're not allowed to play on it. A81, one, here's 110, 109, 84. Here we go, here we go. Found it, right over here, and we're close. We're close to the actual freight elevator. Right. Patience. Yeah. You do the honor. Go ahead. That's his lock. We got to give that back to him, okay? So typically, uh, the manager is actually going to come up and take the lock off for you, but well, come he, he gave it to us. Is Maybe it's the other key. Try that one. When in doubt, use the right key. All right. So yeah. since this was on storage treasures. You always get a storage treasures tag that IDs the actual unit. All right, and you twist and you turn and you can break it off. Oh man! Oh, there you go, patience. Thanks. You guys ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. You have no idea what we're hauling today. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you know? Do you know what happened to this unit particularly, or the jail, or drugs, or anything? No, he actually. Um, I still have contact with him. So he's still around. Yeah, he lives down in I think Ritman. Mm hmm And uh, last week I got in touch with him, only because I said, you know, listen. It's going to auction. I got got in touch with him the 21st of May. Yeah. Because that's when I was listing it. And uh, he said, well, how much do I have to come up with? I go, $758. He owed 758 on yeah, that he one? He hasn't paid on it since um, October of last year. Wow. And because... I don't have a big delinquency problem. Yeah, yeah. I let it ride out until I get a couple. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. Know? Yeah, why well, do one at a time when you can right. do it? Yeah. I just made the mistake of putting 10 p.m. on that one. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. When do you usually end them? Huh? When do you usually in end the them? In the morning. Oh, in the morning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That way, if somebody wants to come out and pay for it yep. and pick it up, they can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been doing this for 29 years now. Wow. Check this out. Oh, there's boxes. There's definitely boxes. Oh, wow. We're going to need us some light. Yeah. I know what you're all thinking. Why the hails, Jeremy? Would you want to get couches? Come here, Christian. Check this out. Oh, okay. Wait, here. We got to... Here, where's patience? Right here. Remember how we test pillows? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Christian. <laughs> Christian, come on in back in here. You see that right up there? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a vent. That is a vent. And that means climate controlled. Somebody who spends money for climate control indoors, heat, air conditioning, has good money. I paid 180 plus a 10% fee with storage treasures. So this is going to make me a few hundred dollars. Everything else in here, that's a bonus. Okay, we have a hat here. There's Bass Pro Shops. Now, one of the things that I saw that, that really made me want to bid. Here, there you go, patience. Look at this. You see this bag here in the corner? This, to me, really looked like they were hiding something. These are the feet to the couches, which these couches are going to make us big money. Actually, these are so nice. I might even just... I, we should set them up at the warehouse for a break room. What do you think? I like it. All right, for break dancing, break dancing room. If we ever have another dance off, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's definitely something in here. You, you hear how heavy it is? Yeah. It, I don't think it's Timberlands. No. I did see in the pictures that these were 10.5s or 10 and a half. I'm a 13. Remember, people, size does matter. All right? I don't care what anybody tells you, size matters. So, here we. Oh, they are Timberlands. 
Okay. I didn't think that they were, but apparently, man, what was he doing? He's got a metal guard there. You always want to check the inside of boots. You'll find handguns. You'll find drugs. Okay, these are definitely Timberland Pros. I didn't think they were, but look, he's got a guard. That makes me think that he was definitely maybe, uh, maybe cutting trees, something along those lines. All right. Ooh, oh, what do you think's in here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, another pillow. Another pillow. <laughs> There's something in here. There is definitely something in here. Please, please, please. Is this what I think it is? You guys think this is an iPad? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we got a realtor. There's the realtor right there. Okay, more coupons. A lot of times we'll find... How I spend my time, 24 hours in a day. I sleep eight hours, breakfast and shower, work out, I work out, <laughs> read for 15 minutes, 45 minutes, getting ready for work, go to work, shower, ready for the evening, do anything, read before bed. Okay. All right. What's this one? A little something, something right here. Uh, free live outfitters. Apparently he was going to start his own outfitting company. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, oh, there's stuff in here for sure. Okay, we want to be careful on paperwork. We don't want to share any personal... Oh, somebody's homework. Yeah, we do have homework. Okay, there's some thank you cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, lucky sock. What is this? Look at this. All right, I think I actually really like these oversized couches. I might truly keep them. Okay, I just lost all that. Captain Fumble Nuts is back, people. Captain Fumble Nuts is back. Okay, I dropped all these. Definitely dropped all these here. I don't know if they were avid. I still, something's in that bag. And it's heavy. Feel how heavy it is? No, of course you don't. I was the one that was in the bag. Okay, let's see. let's see, day planners, all right, um, we'll check everything for, wait, 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 what's this, what is this, what I need to do is go to what, the doctor, doctor workout order smoothie, mm -hmm, of course, <laughs> I get that, I can, <laughs> listen, I understand, except the whole, whole workout thing, I don't work out, <laughs> um, more writings, be great if we actually found these are nice notepads but it'd be great if we found something juicy in them like money that would be good that's good juice <laughs> here's another cushion there you go oversized cushion that's for patients there <laughs> just a little patient oh, oh. okay let's just make sure nothing's hidden in here come on up. come on over peek inside you see it you see it I don't see anything. All right. See. Okay. I I didn't know because I couldn't see either. All right. Nothing hidden in there. But, but, uh, that's a, that's a nice ottoman. I actually like it. I think I actually may keep this. This may end up going up in my bedroom. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe. And there goes patience. Okay. We've got... It is. It's a, I thought it was. I thought it was a three-piece couch set, and it actually is. So, check it out. It smells. Here, here. Bring the camera over. Smell it. What's it smell like? Dust. Okay, but it doesn't smell like smoke. They paid to put it in here. This is really good. A really, really good sign. So I'm gonna make my money back just on this. But I really do think I'm probably gonna keep it. But, uh, all right, we're gonna move this out of here just a bit. Okay, it is definitely a three-piece set. Oh, we, uh, there, there we go. We left all the tools in the trailer. We should probably, we should probably put the feet on there for, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. And yes, this is where I'm gonna watch YouTube, right on this, this chair right here. And, uh huh. Yup. Okay. And let's open the door. 
Here we go. Here we go. Free elevator 101. I like it. It's awesome. She likes the elevator. Look at this. Christian. We definitely have boxes. Caplugs.com. I have no idea what cap lugs are. Don't you peek in there yet. Don't you peek in there yet. We have so much we have to do. Yes! Okay, no peeking in the box yet. There's another caps lugs. Okay? No peeking what's actually in here, okay? We got to get these couches out, and then we're going to show what's actually in these cap lugs. So, we'll do that. We'll get the couches out. We'll get those loaded up in the trailer. Look, we got more furniture. Wait, wait, here. Here. Here, we got another little piece of treasure here. It's an Adidas box. Okay? Oh man, the anticipation. You know how long it's been since I've been able to be in a fresh, brand new storage unit. This is, I feel like a storage unit virgin for the first time. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. Christian. Christian. Careful. I can't believe it. Did you guys see it? Did you see it? I'm going to have to edit that out. Did you see it? I saw it. Did you see it? I did. <laughs> All right, cut it. All right, we got lucky. We got lucky. Actually, we've been a whole lot more lucky if it wasn't a power line. Daisy makes power lines. So that's a that's an easy $50 uh, BB or pellet gun right there. We've got some other things in here too. Let's see. We've got some uh, Versace Man. I'm not sure what that is. We've got... Oh, this will actually be good for later. I got some kind of, I don't know. We have a handmade slingshot, maybe? That thing's pretty cool. That's kind of awesome. And, oh, 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 oh. is it real? Please be real. Please be real. No markings there. Okay, no markings. We've got some kind of, the dude was making homemade something. Making this homemade ninja stuff. <laughs> Look at this. There's a homemade stick shank. Oh my God. You see that? He's it is. Whittler. Here's another homemade stick shank. Oh my God. Here's another shank. All right. Well, we do know he's not in prison from talking to the manager, but honestly, he would have been set if he was. Christian, I'm finding some crazy stuff. I want you to be careful because things... Things are getting a little crazy around here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Did you see that? I told you. I told you he, he was ready. Look at that. He was some kind of ninja. Definitely some kind of ninja. I got something here. Look at that. Ready to take somebody out. Look at that. Patience. Here, yeah. catch. Whoopies. Wait, wait. Christian. Okay. There's definitely, there's some cool stuff back there. Oh, I just found another Adidas box. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. But look. Look here. Look at here. There is... There's that. But, better than that. Here, we got a drone. We even got a drone. And look at all these boxes back here. I didn't, I didn't even see any of that. I was hoping, but I didn't see any of that. This is what I saw. This is why I bid. Climate controlled equals chick ching money. Once we got all of the couches and the furniture out, you won't believe what we found in here. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, look at all this. Look, there's bags, there's boxes. More than any of us could see. All of this stuff was hidden. Now. Have you guys learned anything from me? Where do people hide their most valuable stuff? In a mattress. Okay, in a mattress. <laughs> so, they always hide it in the back corners where you can't see it. So if we wanted to find good stuff, okay, like this, which we're gonna look at some of this stuff. Don't take it away yet. We were, oh my, oh, do you see it? Yeah. Do you see it? See, I told you, I told you, it's always in the back corners. It's there, do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, forget this thing. Look at that. Oh my, oh yes. Yeah. All right, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with it now. 
This is the Adidas box that was in the shelf that we didn't look at yet. You ready? Here we oh, hate Christian. Uh, out of all of the fish in the sea. Oh man. Um, I haven't had lunch, have you? No. Here, just check out what's in the box. Okay. You want some too? Oh, sure. It's not chalk, but patience is going to have some. Okay. We definitely... All right, this looks like a love box. This definitely looks like a love box. We're stinking cute together. Okay. This is... We'll look through every single thing for gift cards, balloons. Huh, this isn't the usual kind of balloon I find in a love box. All right. All right. There you go, patience. Okay. Dude, where should we start, man? Where should we start? This one already has a rip in it. Oh, we got Crocs. Okay, so there's some old school Crocs. There's some nice Adidas. Okay, we definitely, we have shoes. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flip them over there. It is, it is getting, if you can't tell, it's getting a little warm in here. It's getting hot, hot in here. Okay, we'd love to find some old Jordans. These are shoes. Patience, all the shoes can go back in there. All right. I'm guessing. Let's see. Oh, if only I had a knife. Okay. I think we got all clothing. What's that? Levi's. That's nice. Okay. All right. This looks like all clothing. We'll, we'll have to take that back. We'll take that back to the warehouse and figure that out. All right, patience, grab that. Just a little patience. All right, they tied these good. They tied them really good. I I have decided, I've officially decided, I am keeping the couch set. That is going in my bedroom slash living room slash studio. Uh, oh my. Look at this. Some shag pillows. Might as well put that in my bedroom slash studio slash living room too. <laughs> no bit shy. Okay. All right. This feels like blankets. We're just gonna set that aside. What do we have in here? Oh, 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 oh. We got. You know what that is? Coffee. Yes, you're right. It's coffee. Okay. We got Nike boxes. Okay. This is good. We got a polo box. If they kept the boxes and the receipts, that means the shoes are probably in here somewhere. So we'll find them. One way or another, we'll find them. All right, let's dig in. Let's dig in right here, okay? Oh, I think we might have just found them. Look at this. More shoes. Okay, here's some more backpacks. Oh, Jordan! It's Jordan. Remember, we still haven't touched the backpack that was by the front. Most people will keep something valuable by the front corner as well if they have to come back and grab it. He was locked out for almost a year. Oh, come on. What's in here? Oh, my goodness. Is that what I think it is? That is, isn't it? That is. I'm pretty sure that's what I think it is. You guys know what it is. Christian, what is it? I have no idea. That's good. That's good that you don't know. That's good. Oh, oh, he's got another, he's got another brew back here. All right, yep, same thing. Okay, so that, oh, oh man. Look at this, we got another knife back. Okay, this one's heavy too, holy cow. All right, let's see what we got. He definitely had an arsenal. Those bandits? It's a bunch of stuff. Let's zip that back up. I don't know how crazy that's gonna be. What's in here? Okay, you never you, you never know. Uh, this is why I told you guys you had to bring gloves, but I had gloves for you because I have sliced my fingers open by going through this stuff. There's videos of me bleeding everywhere by going through stuff and there being drug razor blades in there. All right, um, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Let's see, is this clothing? Five and below, this could be good t-shirts. Nope, socks. No lucky socks, though. That's not a lucky sock. But we'll check this later at the warehouse for vintage tees. Is that a gray hoodie? No, no. Close enough, though. Okay. 
Christian. Let's see what's in here, dude. Okay. They always hide good stuff in the luggage. Always. Unless... Unless they didn't. But there is something in here. And that's words of wisdom, Christian. You can live by that. They always hide good stuff in the luggage. Unless they didn't. You can, you can live by that. Okay? Um, do we have another... Another brew. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He was keeping a special sauce in there. He was keeping the devil's dandelion in there. Okay. All right, that's clothing. And empty bottles of the devil's dandelion. What do we have here? Oh, yes. Oh, I thought it was a police baton. It's not. It's like some kind of squeegee. It's kind of weird squeegee. But look at this. Oh, guys, look at this. It's exactly what we needed. More gloves. Oh, it's exactly what you guys needed if I farted. And what's this? Office Max. Oh, business cards. I actually might call. I might call. Okay. So that's, that can all go. Oh, man. Brand new sheets, pillowcases. All right, I'm just gonna set this aside. We'll go through all this later. Obviously, there's some good stuff. For example, if this is, yeah, North Face, this right here, here's a $100 jacket. There's a $100 jacket right there. Almost brand new. 100 bucks, easy, easy. So, that's, that's a good thing. Oh, 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 look at this, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we know we got CO2. There's CO2 cartridges. There is firecrackers. Oh, we're getting some stuff now. We'll get in the night box in a second. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Multi-tool. It's an Ozark Trail. That's a good 25 bucks right there. But, are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Look at this. Look at this. Two flash drives. Up here, up here. All right, here's the deal. Whenever we find flash drives, and we haven't found some in a long time, we go through what's on them Sunday Night Lives. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll tell you exactly what's on here. And there's probably going to be some more. Let's peek in here. What's that there? I can't see now. Cedar Point. All right, all right, all right. We got an iPhone. Come on, be in there, be in there. Be in there. And, okay. Not in there. But the empty cases will actually sell. So we do have, we got two flash drives. Can you guys guess what I usually find on flash drives? You can't guess? No. Uh, usually it's somebody flashing me. That's why it's called a flash drive. Okay. Um, paperwork. Holy cow. World's biggest lighter. Right there. And what else do we have? We've got a couple locks. We'll have to see if we can find the keys. Okay. All right. We got the flash drives. I'm gonna set those aside. Those are important. Let's see what's in this new box. What the hails is that? Kind of crazy. Hey, patience. Hey, what? You still getting hangry? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Not a problem at all. There's my bath. All right. All right. Set that over there. Let's see what we got here. What do you think? Should we just dump it out? I don't know. I don't know either. It looks books. Looks like books. Doesn't look like anything too interesting. Oh, looks like somebody was an artiste. Yep, somebody was an artiste. Okay. Hey, that's what they're going to school for. Might have been. Might have been sketch pad. Right. Let's set that aside. And uh... what's the craziest thing you've ever seen in a storage unit? Uh, body? Dead body? Yeah. Here? No. Somewhere no. else? Cleveland. You saw a dead body in Cleveland? Oh, yeah. Guy went in there, took a shotgun, put it under his head, and blew his head off. No way. Yeah. That's sad. And the thing is, <clears throat> you know how they say you have that sixth sense? Yes. You knew it beforehand. Yeah. 
he never came there. Never. His niece would always come pay for it. And then all of a sudden, I see his code come across. And I'm going, what the heck? And I see him, you know, went around to his unit. No big deal, you know. Hey, he finally, maybe he's finally going to put a lock on it. Because he had stuff in there and didn't even have a lock on it. And had paid for it for probably five, six months by then. And, uh... Wow. This was on a Wednesday, and from Wednesday, the thing is, a person doesn't have to drive by me to leave at that site. Yeah. If they leave, so, you know, the end of that day, I look, I don't see no car or anything, so I figure he's gone, you know, and, um... Here, what he had done is pulled his car in there. He couldn't do it in the driver's seat, so he got in the passenger seat and just... Inside the unit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it took me... I'll tell you what. It took me forever to walk up to a unit and just... Oh, I'm sure. Out. I'm sure. That's gotta, there's got to be some like, trauma factor to yeah. that. Yeah. And I, I found him like three days later... And uh, uh, and not to th say that I found him, I looked and the door was up about that far. And I'm going, oh, that's weird, but uh, quite a few flies going in and out of there, you, you know? noticed, yeah. So I pull up the door and I'm going, here we go. Wow. And of course, you know, they had detectives out there and the police and wow. and then they finally called the coroner and the coroner has helpers, okay? They tried with a tow truck repeatedly, probably six times to grab the car and pull it out. And finally, one of the workers, I'll tell you that guy's got more guts than anything. He wipes some of that white stuff under his nose, climbs in the car, starts it up and backs it out. Wow. I'm going, no way. I went back inside. I didn't oh, come back wow. out. I said, you guys let me know when you're through. And then it probably, oh, gee, it probably took. Wow. Uh, probably six, seven months to get the smell out of there. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I would go in there every, like, three or four days, and I would take gallons of bleach and just wing it. Everywhere. And then close the door and leave. Tomorrow, we dig into the rest of the story with this storage unit, and I promise you, you do not want to miss it. It's a hails of a story, and I finally got to the bottom of it.